Ooh, that looks nasty. What happened? Well, Mr Grumbles and I were playing in the park and I fell over and he stamped on my wrist. What? You were playing with Chris without me? Yeah, we quite often do that. What's the big deal? Come back here. Well, I'm glad you hurt yourself. I'm not surprised, you know. Now, look, give me a hammer this bandage. Yeah, I've got a better idea. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, haven't you heard? Laughter's meant to be really good for people with pain. <laughs> but that is not how it works. Sounds like a case for investigation, ouch. <laughs> Laughter is something we all do. <laughs> this lot are all part of a laughter club. <laughs> they get together once a week to really just do one thing and one thing only, and that is laugh their heads off. <laughs> and there are scientists who believe there are significant medical benefits from this kind of laughter. Meet Robin Dunbar, a professor of evolutionary psychology. He's very serious about laughter. Robin, what have you discovered about laughter? When you laugh, the brain is flooded with endorphins. So endorphins are chemicals that make us feel good, is that right? Yes, it helps suppress pain. Can we test this? Oh, we can test that absolutely, yes, and I have just the plan. So in order to see Professor Robin's theory in action, I'm going to need a couple of things. First of all, 14 experimental guinea pigs. Oh, hello. hello. And secondly, a stand-up comedian. That's handy. We're going to try and prove that when you laugh, you can take more pain. Are you ready? Yes! Here we go. Three, two, one, go! Stage one, pain. Our guinea pigs have to sit in a chair position against the wall until their legs hurt so much they can't take the pain anymore. You can try this at home. It's not as easy as it looks. Professor Robin's going to keep track of how long they last, and it's not long before our guinea pigs start dropping like flies. You're done. That's good, Saran. These are the last two. <laughs> oh. Stage two, laughter. Our classroom comic making our guinea pigs giggle to increase their endorphin rush. Stage three, more pain. Go! Let's see how long they last, this time after a belly full of laughter. Is the comedy doing anything different to their muscles at all? Uh, the comedy is just making them laugh, and that's triggering an endorphin response. Nothing about their leg muscles has got stronger. It's no. just they feel the pain less. Yes. So pain is in the brain. Pain is in the brain. Don't give up! <laughs> that's good, that's good. Oh, bravo, well done. Now sit back, lean back. Oh! Yes! We have a winner! You ready? Time to look at the results and see if laughter made them last longer. Ta-da! This table shows how long our guinea pigs lasted before the comedy and after. The ones in red are the longest times. So what we can see is that almost everyone except three people got better the second time. Even though you're a bit more tired, you almost all got better the second time. Why do you think that is? Um, I think that um, it distracted us. We were thinking about the laughter, so we weren't really thinking about how much it hurt. So Weida and Daisy are spot on. Our second test showed our guinea pigs didn't feel as much pain. They lasted longer due to the endorphin rush released by laughter. If there's one thing we've learned today is the power of jokes can really help you not feel pain. So I've got a bit of a joke for you, OK? Two television aerials meet on a roof and they fall in love and decide to get married. The ceremony wasn't great, but the reception was amazing. <laughs> what? I don't understand. It's Dr Chris's favourite joke. No, it's not, Zond. That was rubbish.